Next stage with the uh, cocoons is uh, to clean them up before they get put away uh, for the winter. And the three types of cocoon that we got, um, first one are the leaf cutters. Oops, as you can see, there are little cigars and they are dust bits of leaf wrapped around the uh, pupa bee thing that, that's inside it. Now these things look to be very clean. Um, there's no obvious mites around, so uh, not that I know, but I assume that um, these aren't so much of a problem uh, for keeping in that there's no uh, pollen mites. Uh, so I'm just going to leave these uh, as they are and they'll be put in the fridge uh, till next March. The other ones are the uh, mason bees and as you can see there's all sorts of debris and muck and stuff and apparently it's, they're covered in feces and all that sort of stuff, not very nice at all. So before they get put away for the winter uh, we're going to clean them up and uh, the little bowl in front of you there it's just tepid water with a little tiny bit of bleach in there. So, firstly, we'll just drop them in. In they go. And uh, if I just bring it a bit closer. Oops. You might better see all the crap that is building up at the bottom of the, uh, of the pot. So, just lift that up a little bit. See what's going on. Um, just jiggle them around a little bit, and ugh. all sorts of nastiness. Apparently, these things are very waterproof, so uh, you don't have to worry too much about them getting wet, and they look a lot cleaner. There's still quite a lot of crap on them, and. Uh, We'll brush them down. Oh, that's much better. Oops. That has not anything. It's got a little larvae in it, which uh, doesn't bode well, but it's gone. Um, some tissue to put them on to dry them out and uh, yeah, that's much better I might give them a second go but uh, that's better Anyway, um, you can see what, what needs to be done. Um, we also will need to do the same thing uh, with, uh, with these things. I did email the mighty George to ask him if he knew what they were, and he came back with a completely useless email. Anyway, um, but they are covered in crap, as you can see, so they're going to get the same uh, treatment put them in some water there. Um, can you see all the crap that's built for the bottom? There's only about a dozen of them in there. Now once um, this has been done, they're going to be put uh, in, in the little pot things uh, in the fridge till sort of March, April time for them to emerge. Now what George did with the nest that, uh, that I bought from him, he's trying to get it up to see. I think see at the bottom there's a little box and it's got a hole in it and the idea is you put the cocoons in there and come springtime the uh, bees emerge from that which is fine and I haven't got a huge number of cocoons here anyway so that will be probably more than enough but um, over the winter I'm going to be making some more uh, less uh, less complicated uh, bee house things 
and so what I've made are a few of these things here which are, if I can just get them in see the little release boxes and the idea is you put the cocoons, you put these up on a tree somewhere uh, put the cocoons in there and they come out of the hole and there is a little whoop, roof thing in there so I can have a look to see what they're doing and the idea is you sort of put these things under or near uh, the nesting site so that when the, when the females emerge um, they will look around for somewhere to start uh, laying their eggs and so if there's a nesting box nearby all well and good and what happens is that the, uh, the males hatch first come out spend a week or so getting themselves fit and healthy and then once the queen arrives then you can imagine so that's part two